Hey, what's up guys? It's Ace here. We have another snack crate that came in the mail. Now, I know it's September, but this is technically August's snack crate uh, because what happens is they send the snack crate at the end of the month. Um, so, yeah, like I said, this is August's snack crate. I have not opened it yet. The only thing I did was remove the tape on the bottom so it was easier to open, but let's see what country we got some snacks from this time. Last time was Russia, and the time before that was Germany, so... I'm really excited. Let's let's open it up. All right, let's see what country we got. The Netherlands. Wow. These snacks are expired. Just kidding, they aren't. But you might think that if you don't pay close enough attention to the date format to help ease your mind, we have included a handy guide of common international date formats for use. Oh, okay. So they do the date they do the day, month, and then the year. Gotcha. We do the month, date, and year because that's what the U.S. is. <laughs> we got snacks from the Netherlands. And we got this drink that we'll put in the fridge and have later tonight when I come back from work. I am so excited to try this. Let's do this. The Netherlands, capital Amsterdam, established on January 30th, 1648 with a population of 17,200,671, with an area of 16,040 square miles. These snacks seem really interesting, so I can't wait to try one. So let's start with our first snack. We have Zur Machis. These fruit flavored sour gummy ribbons are intense, but balanced with sweetness. Seems interesting enough. This is what the bag looks like again. It smells very fruity, I know that much. It has a nice little strawberry flavor to it. It's not as sour as I thought it would be. I feel like we have this candy here in America too, but I don't remember what it's called because I don't think I ever had it. Well, it reminds me a lot of Airhead Extreme, but it's not Airhead Extreme. But this is actually pretty good. I would give this an 8 out of 10. I recommend it. It's pretty good. Give one to Sammy. <laughs> I love sour. <laughs> it's not even that sour. It's not sour like at all. It tastes like the Airhead things too. It's all really sweet. Mm -hmm. Those are mine, don't eat them all. Fun fact number one about the Netherlands. On average, Dutch men are the tallest people in the world. I'm 5'3", so they gotta be super tall. And my fiance is shorter than me, but if I make her a half inch taller, she gets mad. Cause size matters apparently. All right, next snack. Really excited to try. We have the Stroop Waffles, which I think I already like this because the Russian snack rate had one that looked just like this. But according to this package, it says, crunchy waffles filled with creamy caramel placed on a cup of hot coffee or tea to soften the caramel. Oh, you're supposed to eat this with, ah. Oh. Place on a cup of hot coffee or tea to soften the caramel. So you're supposed to eat this with tea. But I don't really want to make tea. So I'm just going to open it and eat it. And there's two of them, so Lindsay can have one if she wants. Yeah, these look just like the ones from the Russia video that we did. Ten out of ten. It has a little bit extra kick to it too. Um, I think I have some cinnamon in it. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like, okay. You know those Snoodle Doodle can uh, cookies at Noodles and Company? That's what this tastes like. And it tastes really, really good. This one's good. Oh yeah. Mm. That's worth the trip to the Netherlands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really like it. That's really good. It's really, um... There we go. The caramel's really smooth. And honestly, it just tastes like a waffle cone. 
It tastes like a soggy waffle cone. Mm hmm. With like a hint of like brown sugar. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's from the Netherlands. It's from Netherlands. Pretty good. It's a Stroop waffle. I think it's all those arm markers. Fun fact number two about the Netherlands, the Dutch are the largest consumers of licorice, eating over 70 million pounds every year. 70 million pounds of licorice? I don't even like licorice. I think licorice is, disgust is disgusting, both the red and the black licorice. I don't like it. It doesn't even taste real. It tastes so artificial and fake. So I'm gonna go crocky bologna. It's a, yeah. I'll go with that. These unique chips are flavored with a tangy tomato y goodness of bolognese, of bolognese sauce. That smells weird. I'm gonna take a small one. Mm. I don't really know, I'm kind of indifferent. It's not bad. I just really can't taste any flavor. It just tastes really bland, in my opinion. But it's not bad. I just personally probably wouldn't eat this. I'd eat it if there's nothing else to eat. But yeah, otherwise, I wouldn't really eat it. I give that snack a five. Mostly because it's not bad, it's just not my preferred flavor. That's a really weird smell. I'm not sure about this one. They're not very big. Mmm. Ooh. I like that little, it's got like a little tangy zip. At the end. Fun fact number three about the Netherlands. The audio tape, videotape, and the CD were all invented in Eindhoven by the Dutch company Philips. That's actually pretty cool in terms of like I remember because I'm a film production major at school and we've learned about film and all that but never really knew where they were videotapes and all that were invented but to know that the videotape was invented in the Netherlands Take two. <laughs> to know that the videotape was invented in the Netherlands is actually pretty cool. Next snack. We have Lay's potato chips. <laughs> Specifically, Lay's pahate hopi. These chips are flavored with mustard, onion, curry, and mayo, also known as hapiesis. So good. I, why do I have a feeling that this is going to kind of taste like a regular potato chip? But if it has mustard in it, then I don't know. <coughs> it's got a strong mustard smell. Ooh! From the smell alone, I don't think I like it, but we'll give it a taste. Eh. Oh my god, nope. <coughs> oh, ugh. That was awful. Oh my god, it's still in my mouth. Ow! <laughs> And why? Oh my god, that was no offense, but that was awful. Ugh, oh, it is way too much mayo. All I, all I tasted was a mixture of mustard and mayo. I didn't taste curry at all. Or onion. I just tasted mayo and mostly Dijon mustard. It was, oh, no, um, I'm sorry. I give that a two. Mostly, I'm giving it a two because I think it'd be really funny for Lindsay to try one of these. Is this the American version of Netherlands? What the? 
Why does that smell so weird? But it doesn't, this doesn't say barbecue. It tastes like barbecue. What? It tastes like barbecue. No, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Barbecue doesn't have mustard in it. Oh, that's what it is? <laughs> It's mustard, onion, curry, and mayo. Oh, not bad. What? You didn't like these? No, and neither oh. did Sammy. Mm. Okay, I'll take these to work then. Fun fact number four about the Netherlands. There are more bikes in the Netherlands than there are people. There's 17 million people in the Netherlands and there are 18 million bikes. Boom. All right, next snack. We got one of these little guys. It is called Raid Maker Hops. Named after Baron Hendrik Hop, it a noted coffee lover. These coffee candies have been made since the late 1700s. I'm not a huge fan of coffee. The only coffee I really drink is like Starbucks holiday coffee. This is the only kind of really like. Or an ice caramel macchiato, but you never know. This is what it looks like. Oh, you can't even bite it. It's something you suck on. And it tastes like coffee. It's getting rid of the mustard flavor from the other snack. <laughs> but again, I'm not much of a coffee person. I think Lindsay would enjoy these better. But I'm, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Fun fact of the day from the Netherlands. Known globally as the flower shop of the world, more than 75% of the world's flower bulbs come from the Netherlands each year. Yeah, wasn't that part of the Spider-Man movie? Where they're in that rose field? Wasn't that, weren't they in the Netherlands then? Because I'm pretty sure I knew flower, a lot of flowers come from the Netherlands. All right, final snack from the Netherlands. We have the windmill cookie. The Netherlands in its most traditional snack form, the classic speculous cookie in the shape of a Dutch windmill. Is that how a windmill's supposed to look? It looks kind of warped, but okay. It smells like a ginger cookie. I think it's a ginger graham cracker cookie. And I don't really like ginger. No, I'm not a big fan. Um, I'll give this a 6 out of 10 as well. It's not bad, but I don't like ginger flavored cookies in general. Good name. It's a good sound. Ooh, that's a better sound. This. It smells like gingerbread. I got the bottom half the window. <laughs> it's just the, I just got the milk. Well, this would be really good dipped in milk. Well, it tastes how it smells. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Cinnamony, a little bit. So, I'll see you guys later tonight for the soda. I guess so. Okay, it's soda time, and Sammy, you're in. Soda time. Uh, this is Fernandi's Cherry Bouquet. This sweet and sparkly cherry soda is a popular treat throughout the Netherlands. So I will, now we're gonna do this, we all take it at the same time, or? Dad. I'll take a sip yeah, first. Yeah, you go first, you, you go, go first. I'll go last. It's a really weird aftertaste. I have a bad feeling I'm not gonna like it because I don't like mm, cherry I'm gonna drink the rest of it. Oh, bad idea. Drink bad it. Bad idea to smell it. Drink it. Oh, that scared me. Mm, all right. <laughs> oh. I love it. That's Maybe really not. good. That's I like really it good. It's not bad. <laughs> That's really good. That's okay. You can Mine? have it. You can have it. Mine, you and I get three it. straws. Oh, Wait, it's not like... bad. It does have a little bit of an aftertaste. <laughs> Let me try it again. <laughs> he just keeps drinking. 
That was disgusting. It was good. Now nah, that's payback. Cherry, <laughs> cherry cough syrup tastes way better I think than like that. It. Yeah, you drank that it all, so it tastes nasty. Yeah, that's all right. That's pretty good. It's that not bad. Gross. I just don't like the aftertaste. That's pretty good. Then again, you like the onion chips. It was nasty. You, you like, like the, the mustard, mustard chips. chips. That's so, that's because I like things with... Bad flavors? Yes. <laughs> I like I like interesting, weird um, combinations. All right, so my battery's gonna die. But all right, guys, that is a snack crate from the Netherlands. Join us next month, which would be not until October when we get our September snack crate. But join us next month for our new snack crate, new snacks from a different country. Let's go. Peace out.